Another day, another dollar for crooks targeting gas stations. And it's as simple as a swipe. I'll be trying to pay with the car sometimes. She's like, no, 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 no. I don't use cars, so I pay with cash. These days, it's safer to pay with cash. I'd rather get out in the cold and walk and pay. Time and time again, we've heard how thieves are using a universal key to get into the pumps and install skimmers like these to steal your personal information. A lot of the gas stations have up their security game with changeable locks and also some of them even check the pumps every hour on the hour. As gas stations become more vigilant, thieves are stooping to a new low. No key needed. They're physically breaking the locks to install the credit card skimming devices. At this Exxon at the corner of Glenmore Avenue and Work Road, authorities found the pump doors glued shut. They found skimmers inside pumps seven and nine. Hamilton County Auditor Dusty Rhodes says they don't know how long the devices had been there. He says it's big business for the bad guys. One guy they caught in Franklin County about a year and a half ago was one of a three-member group from Louisville. Mm -hmm. uh, they were immigrants, uh, I think from Cuba. And uh, this guy told the cops he alone made 140000 in one month. And many of the skimmers used these days are Bluetooth enabled, so the crooks don't even have to go back into the doors to retrieve it. They could just download your personal information really within seconds. And I know it's a pain, especially when it's cold and rainy, but the auditor says best advice, go inside and pay with cash. Reporting live tonight in Chiviet, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.